Spider-Man Short Movie Review. Peter Parker is your average nerdy high school student, and when he gets bitten by a genetically altered spider, not a radioactive one because this isn't the 1960s anymore, he finds that he has the superpowers of a spider in, you know, human size and form. And he, once he gets the hang of his powers, he starts, you know, rescuing people and fighting crime. And soon he finds a nemesis in the Green Goblin, the alter ego of, unbeknownst to him, his friend, I think, Harry Osborn's father, who has gone cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs because he inhaled some smoke. Yeah, well, that's an anti-drug message if I ever heard one. And the two will inevitably clash. This is a fairly good superhero movie. I'm not personally partial to it, but it definitely has some really great qualities. The action is quite good, especially in the last half of the movie when it's kind of gotten past just, you know, being an origin story. And in addition to being a pretty decent origin story, this actually fits in several of the really iconic and memorable aspects of the comic book version of Spider-Man. This is also one of the first movies of the of the newer superhero movies where you know we, we actually get to see the comic book aesthetic to an extent. You know, goblins, Gobby's costume has changed somewhat, sadly losing the very expressive mask of the comics. Although it makes sense that he ditched the fabric, I guess, uh, for you know, body armor. But yes, you know, Blade and X-Men kind of opened the door for superhero movies to be made again, but were kind of afraid to follow their, you know, comic, comic book, you know, visual aesthetic. In the case of Blade, probably for the better. But this one really does go for it, and Spider-Man's suit looks, you know, very much like that of the comic. J.K. Simmons in this movie is J. Jonah Jameson. And that about covers it. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.